Hi team, it's Brent here from Noble Samurai and today is day two of the 30 day challenge, which means it is time to start using Market Samurai. Now during the 30 day challenge, three other members of the Noble Samurai team will be joining me and sharing some tips and tricks on how to get the best out of your internet marketing. And they will be Eugene Ware, Ben Stickland and Anthony Fernando. And you'll hear from each one of us at different times of the 30 day challenge. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you visit the Market Samurai link that's on this page or type the URL in that's on your screen right now. If you're new to Market Samurai, you can get your copy of Market Samurai here. Or if you've used Market Samurai before, you'll still want to visit this link to get access to all of the Market Samurai features that we'll be using in this year's 30 day challenge. So make sure you visit this link now. But if you already have the Market Samurai software installed, then it's time to get into the fun stuff. Now the first thing that we're going to use Market Samurai for is keyword research. So let's open up Market Samurai and head into the keyword research module. When we have Market Samurai open, we'll need to start a new project and then we'll see the project settings page. Now the first thing that Market Samurai will ask you for is a project name and the project name should describe the market that you're looking at getting into. Now for each market that you're looking at, each market that you're analyzing inside Market Samurai, you should have a separate project and this will make it easier to refer back to any information that you need later. So let's pick a topic or a market to, that we want to get into. Um, let's say vegetable gardening. And we click down here and fill in the title and the place that we want to save this project. And then we can choose the language that we want to target. And in this case, I want to target English and the region that we want to target. And in this case, we want to uh, analyze vegetable gardening in all countries and territories or globally. Once we've set this up, let's hit the create button. At this point, we want to click the keyword research module button here. And now we're into the keyword generator. Now this is the first area of the keyword research module, the keyword generator. So what is a keyword? Well, a keyword is a word or a phrase that someone might type into a search engine if they're looking for something. What this keyword generator does is it helps us to find up to 1,000 of the most commonly searched for keywords that relate to your topic. And in this case, we're looking at the topic of vegetable gardening. The reason the keyword generator is so valuable is because it helps us to make sure that we don't miss out on any opportunities that there might be in our market. So we, essentially, we don't overlook any great keywords that people might be searching for. So let's generate a list of keywords around vegetable gardening. Let's make sure the Google Synonym Tool option here is, uh, is selected and then hit the Generate Keywords button. And Market Samurai will ask us to type in a capture and it will go out and fetch a whole stack of keywords that relate to vegetable gardening. Once we have some keywords to work with, and we see that we have 200 keywords here, click this Analyze Keywords button to go through to the Keyword Analysis area of the Keyword Research module. Now the Keyword Analysis area allows us to find out a lot of things about these keywords. But what we're going to focus on here is supply and demand. Now supply is the competition around the keyword. How many web pages already exist for the keyword? Because the fewer competitors that there are in the market, the fewer web pages that there are out there that target the keyword, the more likely it is that we'll make money. And demand is traffic. How many people search for that keyword? Because the more people that there are searching for the keyword, the more money that we can potentially make. 
So what we can do here is get accurate estimates about how many people search for each one of these keywords and how many websites exist around each one of these keywords. Supply and demand. And that means we can filter out keywords that have too little demand for us to target, too little traffic for us to target, or too much supply, too many competitors for us to target. So why do we do this instead of just picking a keyword that we're interested in, or that we think that we might be able to write some good articles about, or a keyword that we think might, you know, potentially make a good business? Well, if we set up a website for a keyword that almost nobody searches for, how will we ever get people to visit our site? And if we can't get people to visit our site, who will ever buy something from us? And if we don't have anyone that is willing to buy from us, how will we successfully make money out of our website? And in the same way, if we have a look at competition, if we set up a website around a keyword that zillions of people are targeting, how will we ever beat them all and get to one of those top spots in the search engines? And if we can't get to one of those top spots in the search engines, how will people find our website? And if people can't find our website, if it's buried deep down in the search engines, how will we ever get people to visit our site? And if nobody is visiting our site, again, who will ever buy from us? How will we ever successfully make money online? That's why we want to pick a keyword that lots of people are searching for, but few websites are targeting. Because if we pick a keyword that lots of people are searching for, but few websites are targeting, then it's much more likely that we can beat all the other websites that are out there to get one of the top spots in the search engines. And it's much more likely that people will see us that way. And it's much likely that they will, after seeing us, visit us. And that gives us the best possible chance of making money off our website. So you're starting to see that these numbers can show you the difference between success and failure in an online market. This is one of the really exciting things about online business, that we can use real and measurable statistics to work out supply and demand before we do any work building our business. Essentially, we can work out how difficult it will be to break into the market and how many people want what we have to offer before we begin. And that gives us the best possible chance of success. So using these tools, we can quickly weed out all of the worthless and difficult opportunities before we begin and focus on testing keywords that have the highest potential to lead to success. So now we know that we want to find high traffic, low competition keywords, but what specifically are we looking for when it comes to good keywords? And how do we find these good keywords that are out there in our marketplace? Well, that's the topic of the next video, so make sure you go to that video right now.